Hello and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Uh, this is Andre from PSD Box, and today I want to show you a nice effect that you can create using um, using a, a T-shirt or something like that. I want to show you how you can create this um, transparent shirt effect that you can see here. But you can see it's uh, we see this folds here. So I want to show you how you can create this. How you can create this effect? I've seen it on Instagram a while ago and I really liked it so I would like to show you how you can create something like this. Um, the good thing about this is that it works on any background so you can see that I can change the background and it still works exactly the same on pretty much any background so on some backgrounds it, uh, the effect is nicer like, like you can see here but well uh, on my website you will find the images that I used for this tutorial and uh, if you're a premium member you can also download the uh, the PSD file. So I hope you will like it and let's get started. So in order to create this um, effect we will work with layer masks and um, blend modes. So I'll start by using this image. This is the image that I used. It's important that the t-shirt that you are wearing uh, it's white or has a has a solid color. White is the best color that you can get because uh, on white shirts you get this um, because on white t-shirts you get this um, shadows here and we will use a blend mode we will use the multiply blend mode uh, which is uh, perfect with white colors so try to use a white shirt or at least um, a t-shirt that has no uh, design on it just a, a flat color and as I said white is the best or at least gray but try to use a white one. Uh, let's not save this. I have this in Spanish but uh, I will not change it now. I'll just uh, explain what I'm doing here. So what I will do is create a new document. Let's say 2000 pixels by 1500 uh, just for the tutorial. I'm gonna paste this here. It's a bit too big. Well, I'll leave it like that. And I'll lend this to man and let's open actually I'll drag a background image from the original document which is this I'll drag it here just to have a background to work with if you have a um, genuine background it's a lot easier to uh, see everything here so I'll have this to be my BG for background I will select the magic wand tool I'll make sure I have the continuous option selected and I have this set to point and I'll set the tolerance to about 10 let's see if that works and if you click on the background you can see it also selects part of the shirt is because it, the tolerance is too high and the contrast between the two areas is not big enough to keep the selection on only on the outside so let's set it to 5 and see if that works better yeah that's a lot better now press and hold the shift key and click this inner side and here between the legs and here just to select those areas and now I can refine the edge uh, maybe but I have to invert the selection for that and well not really uh, let's create the layer mask first we'll see it a lot better control command I to invert it and now I can um, you can see the edges are too jagged so I'll right click on the layer mask and choose refine mask I'll increase the feather a bit and shift this to the negative values on the on the edge a feather of one pixel is even too high and with the contrast you can resharpen the edges back and yeah something like that and I'll increase the smoothness just a bit to about just one and I'll leave it like that. I'm not gonna worry too much about the edges. I just want to show you how I got this effect. I'll set the output to layer mask and click OK. And this updates my layer mask. Uh, what I want to do now is uh, have the shirt on its own layer. So what I will do is select. The, I'll, I could try the magic one. I'll choose the quick selection. I'll select the man layer and select the shirt like that. Okay, making sure I have the edges as perfect as I can. Actually, I could use 
um, the selection itself inverted and now just exclude parts of it uh, you can also use the quick the quick mask uh, option if you'd like and with the brush with the paint brush just paint with a hard a hardness of 100% if you paint with black you will exclude uh, areas from the selection just like that and make sure you have a good transition between the two um, areas here especially here on the arm with the shift key you can create straight lines okay now I have the selection I'll exit the quick mask and now as you can see I have only the shirt selected what I will do next is select any marquee tool here uh, any selection tool and right click and choose uh, um, layer via uh, cut this will uh, take that selection of the shirt and copy it into well actually cut it onto a new layer actually if I deactivate this new layer that has been created you can see that I have none of the well the shirt is now on its own layer let's name this to t-shirt and as you can see now it's on its own layer all I need to do now is change the blend mode of this t-shirt layer to multiply and that's pretty much it the only problem that we have here is that it's a bit too dark and we have some of the texture visible here so what I will do is create a copy and uh, let's name this t-shirt shadow and the, on the t-shirt layer I'll add a curves or levels adjustment let's add some levels and what I want to do is make it brighter uh, I'm just have to make sure that just make sure that you clip it to the t-shirt layer otherwise you will also affect the background and all you need to do now is just increase a bit the midtones and the highlights especially not too much but just a bit until you you can still see the shadows there but uh, you don't see the texture anymore and now I'll reactivate the t-shirt shadow layer and this time I'll add some levels again well I just want to brighten a bit the shadows just like I did with the first one and this will um, add more shadow um, actually let's leave it like that and just drop the opacity a bit and now I can create a duplicate if I want and play with the opacities until I get the amount of shadow um, that I want so let me deactivate this so you can see how it looks with and without the shadows without the shadows and with the shadows now the edges are not perfect here but uh, anyways um, as I said you can take your time and create perfect edges and the good thing about this is that you can change as I said the background if I move the, this background here you can see it works exactly the same we can still see the background through it and looks like it's distorted if you want to go even further you can create uh, you can save this um, you can save this uh, in, with a normal mode save it as a PSD file and then use a displace filter here on the distort choose a, a displace and then you can use this as a map to displace uh, the background and distort it but it's not necessary just like this it looks uh, it looks pretty nice as it is. Another thing that you can do using this uh, similar technique is create something like this. This was done exactly the same. Um, I got an image from Deposit Photos which was... let me... Oh, this one over here. Um, I got this image from Deposit Photos and what I did is I separated the woman and this, um, this fabric uh, I masked the background using the quick selection tool or the magic wand then I put in another background and then since I have this white um, this white fabric what I did is I opened um, this image here let me do it again so I'll open uh, this image again so I'll copy it and I'm not gonna save it what I wanted to do is you can see this cloudy background here I wanted to create the effect that this woman is pulling a, a um, nice sunny day over this background so what I did is I just pasted this image on top um, actually let's delete this layer again and what I did is I clipped this to this layer um, of the fabric so I'll clip it and you can see now it's only visible over the fabric area 
and all you need to do now is change the blend mode of this layer of this BG layer to multiply and you get exactly the same result because the folds have this dark have this dark um, tones on them and that makes it look like the actual um, like the actual background here is distorted if you want to create it even more realistic what you can do is press control command T right click and choose distort and here you can uh, distort this and give it more or less the shape of uh, of this fabric here just to distort it a bit and make it look a bit more natural like it's actually been stretched here if you're using the latest versions of Photoshop you can also use the puppet warp if you go here to the edit menu and choose the puppet warp um, which is this one and here you can add points like that and just uh, move this however you want and make it fit more or less the shape of this just to distort it a bit especially if you have trees and stuff like that make them look a bit more distorted like it's actually being um, as you can see pulled and stretched uh, on this uh, on this fabric here so that's how I created this uh, effect I hope you you like it and I would like to see the results that you get you can create some really creative um, portraits and stuff like that and if you post them on Instagram use the hashtag PSD box and I usually feature uh, nice images on on our Instagram account so you can get some extra exposure if you want so that's all for today I hope you liked it I'm Andre from PSD box and we'll see you on the next tutorial